Thanks, Kayla. And now the question is what we can expect for this severe weather season. Chief Meteorologist McCall Friedegs is live with an outlook for us. McCall? Well, Kate, we talked about this over the last few weeks, especially when we saw that tornado outbreak down in the Gulf states in Alabama. A lot in part to the fact that our jet stream is set up because of an El Nino that is in place. And that jet stream will tend to bring more active severe weather south of the Miami Valley, a greater risk for those strong to severe thunderstorms and a wetter spring season likely down towards eastern Texas, parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. For us locally, I did some digging to see past El Nino years and if it had any correlation to our severe weather in the Miami Valley, none whatsoever. In 2015, we had six tornadoes. In 2017, similar weak El Nino conditions to what we're seeing this year, 12 in the state of Ohio, and in 2005, 36. Really what we do know is that greatest risk will be down across those Gulf states. Another factor when you have a jet stream set up like this heading into the spring and summer months is that the stronger westerly winds will tend to create weaker hurricane development. Does not mean that we will not see hurricanes this year, but they may not get as strong as we've seen in years past. So here is our severe weather season. In April, we tend to see the strongest severe weather outbreaks down towards those Gulf states in the month of April. As we move into May, the chances increase for the Miami Valley and off to our south and west, more towards Oklahoma and southern Iowa. You can see that threat lifts to the northwest come June, but we're still in that bullseye for the threat for those strong to perhaps severe thunderstorms all the way through July. No threat for severe weather this week, but meteorologist Dante Jones is coming up with uh, some showers that are moving through now.